What is up, planet? It is the priest. I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be focusing and looking at what you are currently manifesting, whether good or bad. I have the blue stone, the yellow stone, the purple stone, the brown stone, and the green stone. Again, this is focusing on what you are currently manifesting. If you guys are new to my channel, shout out to all my new subscribers and all of the notification gang that has been with me since the jump. I am very appreciative of your guys' support in supporting my message and my channel, so I definitely want to thank you guys for that. If you are looking to book a personal reading, information about my online courses or the books that I am releasing, you can find all that information in the description box below. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see what you guys are currently manifesting. All right, if you guys chose the blue stone, this is what you are currently manifesting. So for the overall energy, we're going to be focusing on possibility raise your standards elevate your expectations you have unlimited potential so right now what you guys are manifesting is the possibility of having more the possibility of also expanding your consciousness and allowing more to happen yeah so we have the magician right off the bat we have the five of pentacles so already you guys are manifesting more abundance and also getting out of that lack state of mind uh, with the five of pentacles usually this is about poverty but it's in the reverse which tells me that you guys are getting to a place where you can expand and allow more to come in so opening up and just allowing the possibility is going to help you manifest on a much rapid level uh, we have the queen of pentacles so right off the bat again this is about abundance so you guys are the magician here you're learning how to manifest and you're also learning how to create your own reality because of this with the possibility card, raising your standards and elevating your expectations means that while before you guys may have settled for things in life, uh, whether that be a specific job or amount of money you can make in a month, even something as little as that, you guys are coming to a place where you can allow more to come in. And this is actually the key, one of the most important keys to manifesting is just opening up the possibility. So this is breaking limitations also around your love life. So this isn't just abundance. This is learning how to provide for yourself, for your family, but creating a stream of income and being more confident in who you are in the sense of manifesting. So you guys are learning how to become the queen of pinnacles, which is someone who creates their own stream of income and finances and what you want to do and what you love to do. So whereas again, before, maybe some of you guys have counted certain things out, dream cars, dream houses, dream trips, dream vacation, um, a specific amount of money that you want to manifest in a, uh, a year or a month, you guys are learning more of the spiritual side. So um, with the high priestess and the magician, again, this is the one and two major arcanas. This is a much more spiritual group. So if you guys chose deck, uh, the blue deck, you are walking more in your manifestation power and actually exercising it, putting it to the test. Uh, by seeing that you can create your own reality. So you guys are coming up as the magician and the high priestess and the king of pentacles. So not only are you manifesting more, more abundance, so you guys have been able to really expand and allowing more to come to you. And this is also in your relationships. We have a king and a queen. This is a, this is counterpart energy. So you guys are manifesting a soulmate if you are already having um, manifested a soulmate if you're if you haven't if you haven't mess, manifested a soulmate then you're definitely manifesting someone um, whoever this person is that you guys are manifesting if you haven't already met them they're in a sense they're a counterpart to you so um, while you're motivated and, and driven to make more finances they are also too so you guys are mirroring each other in um, kind of being in the same place in your life and manifesting the possibilities for uh, for one another on an individual scale. So your soulmate will be nearly on the same exact path as you. They may see it differently, but you're definitely uh, manifesting a soulmate. Uh, this person, this couple comes up as more of an empire couple, somebody, um, a business that you guys start together. Um, and, and that's the thing with your guys' overall energy being possibility. This tells me that anything is possible in just allowing that statement to take place in your guys's life is allowing more manifestations to happen um so you guys are manifesting a more love for life seeing that you can actually live the life that you're dreaming about and not just dreaming about that but really putting that into manifestation so the person that you guys are manifesting 
you guys are both, it seems like entrepreneurs or we'll create something in the future together. Uh, because you guys have allowed more possibility into your life, you can have an even greater relationship with someone and also allowing financial freedom to come in with you guys. So the possibility is just really, the sky is not even the limit for you guys. And you're learning that even when we say the sky is the limit, it's really not even there um, that, the, that the limit is for you guys. It's literally as much as you allow to be possible is gonna be able to manifest. So you're being challenged to not make impossible things be the determinant outcome for your life. All right, so we have perspective, yeah. So 12, this is the this is all about changing your perspective, but also um, there's a better way, pause for reflection and insight, dare to be different. So with you guys, you don't have to work hard to make manifestation work for you. It's really the biggest thing is releasing the limitations that you may have. So if you feel like I won't make this much money or I won't have this relationship until then, that until is actually going to be the limitation and the blockages. So what you guys are learning and where you're at with your manifestation is learning how to change your perspective by allowing more possibilities. And just by doing that alone, you're gonna start seeing manifestations occur in your life. Soulmate connections, partnership connections with your friends, business connections. Um, a lot of you guys are just seeing that those things that you thought were impossible is actually just that thought was the limitation. So you're learning how to remove that thought and change the perspective. So there's a better way to pause for reflection. You guys don't have to work yourselves into the ground or work hard uh, to manifest this soulmate or even this job that you guys are longing for as far as providing more financial freedom and even being able to live the life of your dreams. You don't have to work hard to do that. You're just challenged in perspective and possibility. These are the two limitations is allowing you're allowing more to come into your life. Four of Ariel. So yeah, this is a lot of abundance here on the board. So you guys are manifesting projects, much more income, stream of income, side projects that are bringing income, um, things that you're not even looking for just because you've opened up and allowed the possibility. When you give, you also receive being resistant to change, extremes in how you save and spend money. So right now, you guys are, are manifesting uh, financial hardships but also learning how to maintain financial freedom. So with the four of Ariel, Ariel, you guys are being challenged in the sense of how much you're giving and how much you're receiving, learning the flow of abundance, allowing it to come by just, again, the possibility, right? The possibility means that you guys are researching, you're putting your manifestations into action. A lot of people that count themselves out, they don't even research. They don't even see that the, the life they want to live is not actually as expensive as they think it is and not as uh, challenging. With you guys, it's, it's that's where your main blockage in, your, um, in allowing more manifestations to happen is just, again, making it possible up here. So eight of Gabriel, you guys are learning a lot about just financial freedom and finances in abundance right now. Um, on a spiritual level. So the magician is not someone who's analytical, who has a really great business plan. This person just believes in the manifestation and so forth, it just appears. So sudden immediate changes, important communications, things are gonna be moving very, very fast this year in abundance. Even here we have blossoming abundance. So if you are in a place where you're, um, you're attracting hardships financially, it's because source is challenging you, the universe, whatever you decide to call God, is challenging you to see money in a different way, not to hoard money, but also not to overly spend money. You're manifesting the same financial cycles until you open up the possibility and change your perspective on abundance. That's the main thing. You guys are attracting a lot of money. Rest and rejuvenate. So some of you, um, you have this dream and this desire to make more money or to be financially free. In this deck, guys, this seems like more of um, partnerships, yes, in relationships, but finances. Like you guys are manifesting financial freedom, okay? So I'm gonna spend most of my time talking about that as that's what's coming up for you guys. And um, we have ambition at the bottom of the deck, yeah. So this hard work and dedication that you guys feel like you have to make towards making more abundance, what Spirit is saying several times is to slow down 
we have rest and rejuvenate again, but we also have um, the resistance right here. A great deal of activity, sudden immediate changes, uh, pause for reflection. So we have reflection, rest, and rejuvenation. This means you don't have to work hard to make this happen. It's just allowing the possibility and changing the perspective is what's allowing this to come in. So resting, rejuvenate, and allowing the, uh, the abundance to, to flow to you guys. Also, you guys are coming to a place of awakening presence. So the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of love and protection. You're, you're awakening in spirituality because, again, we have the high priestess here. This is someone who is pretty in tune spiritually with making things happen. You're learning that spirit over logic and spirit over planning is way more productive, right? So a lot of you guys have this outlook of career, have this outlook of abundance and finances, but again, you're manifesting and learning how to attract this abundance from a spiritual place. So manifestations, remember guys, we have ideas. Before any of this was here, before this was here, this was an idea that someone had. And so the manifestation process is making it into a physical, tangible item. But this started off as an idea, right? A thought, which is not a tangible thing. So it's important that you have the spiritual awakening so that you can understand the laws of manifestation. And for you guys, it's mainly, again, possibility. All that glitters. Yeah. So don't be fooled by what looks like is gold. You guys have a lot of gold on the board, a lot of finances coming to you. CEOs, entrepreneurs, inventors, um, artists are on the board here. People, anyone who dreams the possibility of making this happen, you guys are manifesting that. So with all that glitters, it tells me to be very, very cautious as to what you're given into by thinking it's a blessing of a manifestation. Right? So just be very cautious when um, things are brought to your attention. Fertility. So yeah, we have more projects coming in. We have spiritual strength and we also have ambition. So your guys' ambition is what's going to create it. But remember, ambition is just an energy. You don't have to be working hard to manifest this. Again, it's just allowing, changing your perspective and seeing the possibility is what helps you guys manifest in what you guys are doing. We have fertility. So again, like I said, CEOs, new projects, new ideas, side opportunities. Some of you guys, uh, your friends, or someone's gonna reach out to you and just say, hey, I know you're really good at this. I don't mind paying you to do this. Can you come and help me with whatever this is? You're not even gonna feel like that was a job or an opportunity, but that's what Spirit is trying to get you into is like the possibility of the financial stream of income and the abundant life that you can live if you just allow by shifting your perspective. So everything you think is impossible will be impossible. But again, because a lot of you guys are just simply believing in it, it's happening. This is spiritual strength. The mental conflict and the chaos with the twos, again, it is heart, soul, spirit over mind, logic, and intellect. That's what you guys are learning and allowing things to happen because some of these things that happen, the possibilities, it, it seems impossible for it to happen. And, and that word just impossible, impossible is the mental blockage by you not understanding how could this happen? Like, how can I make this happen? That is creating the conflict, the how, instead of just allowing it. And again, this comes from a much more spiritual uh, perspective. So all in all, you guys are manifesting infinite possibilities, partnerships, abundance, uh, creativity, and also just a lot of freaking income and a lot of financial freedom. So doing what you love, but still being fulfilled. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. Remember, keep an open mind, allow the possibility and the perspective. I'm moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is what you guys are currently manifesting. The overall energy is freedom. Live wild and free, choose your freedom, claim your independence. So this is already great to see. You guys are manifesting freedom by learning how to think differently, how to change your perspective on things, on how things should happen, and allowing more freedom for you to fail or make mistakes, but also the freedom to live uh, the life that you desire to live. Nine of Cups, Justice, you guys could be a Libra, you don't have to, I'm just gonna call out a few signs that I see here on the board. We have a couple of night cards, so 
Uh, another thing that you guys are learning too is how to manifest uh, finances too, as well as deck number one, uh, financial freedom, but uh, it looks like there needs to be more of a balance. So in some things and areas and aspects in your life, you guys have freedom and in other places you don't. So you guys are learning how to manifest in all aspects of your life so that it, there's a balance because I feel like you're manifesting uh, financial opportunities, but uh, they're coming in slow. Sometimes if money is coming in slow, but also it's not just that, it's learning how to have fulfillment even when you're attracting uh, finances. So the freedom comes from not just being able to uh, work a job that you desire to live, but one that is fulfilling. You guys are on uh, the brink of doing that. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more rest of, or time off, seek relief from stress and the emperor. You guys are also manifesting a lot more opportunities because of your confidence. Um, stability, efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. You guys could be in Aries. You don't have to be, but this is about understanding that what is on the other side of you making the, these decisions in your life is freedom and what you guys honestly, truly desire. Financial constraints. So this is in the reverse. You guys, again, this is definitely finances that you guys are manifesting. A lot of you are manifesting freedom in the sense of, for a few of you guys, I'm feeling like uh, someone around you or people around you that were, whether they're in prison or jail or in a situation of an injustice situation, whether that's child support, anything that has to do with the law, a lot of you guys are seek or finding or manifesting freedom from that. And it's not because you outsmart the system, it's because you guys just simply trust in the universe, but also are very uh, heavily predicated on freedom. And so when you're manifesting freedom, you're manifesting this in all areas of your life. A lot of you guys are also um, breaking free from debt. I see that you're manifesting, breaking free from debt, breaking free from credit, like this type of freedom um, that you're having. Because remember, money allows more freedom. It's just simply a tool, an accelerator to happiness. So you're, anything that's going to provide freedom for you, you guys are manifesting financial freedom, uh, law and justice freedom, all of these things, freedom uh, and also independence with self. So with the relationship part, you guys are manifesting freedom and happiness independently. So without having to depend on another person, you are manifesting freedom for yourself, which is a beautiful thing. Indecision, so also clarity. This was in the reverse. So you guys are coming out of financial strains and freedom. Remember, the less financial strains you guys have, the more freedom that you obtain. And again, that's what you guys are uh, seeking heavily is for the freedom. Let's see, community, more friendships, better friendships is also what you guys are manifesting and between worlds in a balance of spiritual world and practicality. <clears throat> Phases and cycles. So a lot of you are also manifesting endings and new beginnings in life in general. So there is a beginning without every ending, there would not be a beginning, but illusions are revealed and released. So it's, it's freedom from the system. It's freedom from feeling like I have to live exactly this way. Um, I have to go to school, get a good job or get a degree, then get a good job, then have a family. Then, like it's that systematic timeline of a slave is which, I, which is what I call it. But living in the matrix in the system, you guys are learning how to be free without it like over the system, you guys are learning how to be free and not confining to um, social stereotypes, how you feel like you should live your life. You're breaking free and also manifesting from just living a life that you enjoy and not really caring about what people have to say about it. Um, this is uh, an immense amount of freedom. And so because of that, that risk that you guys are taking, um, it's allowing better friendships, better community, and also a better spiritual relationship. Stand your ground. So yeah, a lot of you are just, having the confidence and saying like, I'm not settling for anything less. If it doesn't make me feel wild and free, I don't want it. And because of that, you are manifesting so many things on a much higher level. Triumph, so victory and also disruption. So while you guys are getting free, it seems like you're also manifesting cycles. So there are a lot of lessons that the universe is trying to bring to you guys. In order to stop populating the same result, there needs to be a cycle that's broken. So you guys are also manifesting a cycle. So when you're able to detect exactly which cycle or phase it is that you are manifesting, then you can break free from that. And that's 
ultimately what you guys are desiring to do so what's happening with the disruption in the phases and the cycles with this card and the stand your ground it's like things are going to fall apart again like i always say to fall in place but remember the purpose of this is for freedom the freedom that you're desiring and asking for it's it's um due to the disruption and the phases and cycles that are occurring so soon as you say i want freedom and happiness and things start disrupting friendships jobs and things start falling apart it's because remember when you're asking for freedom the universe god whatever you believe is going to knock down anything that is not providing freedom in this case your guys' financial constraints your uh, lack of making decisions your phases and cycles guys are coming from your indecisiveness right when you're not clear and decisive with the universe and what exactly you want to manifest then you're just creating the same exact cycle so this indecision you guys are learning how to come out and just be very clear and decisive on what you want some of you have to spend more time focusing on what truly makes you happy and not what you think does but in in your heart in your desire that fire what is really bringing you happiness because when we're manifesting, guys, we have to be very particular, right? We're attracting this. So if you guys are attracting a lot of the same things, whether it's debt, financial constraints, phases and cycles with your relationships and anything in your life, it's due to your indecision making, right? So the more clarity and the more decisive, like I want this relationship with unconditional love that allows me to be free, blah, 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 blah. That type of manifestation uh, needs to really be embark so that you guys can manifest entirely what you want so if you're noticing that again it's just due to your your lack of decision making as soon as you're clear and decisive on what you want the universe will be able to act but some people are just like oh yeah i want to be a you know a millionaire and they have no idea how much money a month they would have to sustain to be a millionaire and how many taxes come out of that so making this realistic and not just throwing something at the wall and hoping that it sticks this is about really making a decision, standing to your ground and being very firm in it so that you can manifest because ultimately what you guys want is freedom. And then humor. So don't take life so serious. Also, you guys are, your life that you're attracting is very adventurous and fun. It's very innocent. It's very lighthearted. You're experiencing life and, and I feel like for some of you, you're going to get to a place where you're like, wow, like I've never been so free and happy that's what you guys are manifesting even if you look at this card she's super happy um, with humor and laughing and just having a good time and enjoying life from a place of freedom and independence is what you guys are manifesting it's coming in slow but again you guys have karmic energy that you're releasing with the justice card and the indecision making the karmic cycles phases and illusions you're creating again due to the fact that you guys are not standing your ground making firm clear decisions and stepping in your emperor energy and this is knowing exactly what it is you want to manifest and then the four of michael is coming from a place of making sure that you're in a place of quiet meditation and really really taking the time to study what it is that you want because remember with manifestation you can also attract what you don't want because you're spending so much time thinking about what you don't want so all in all you guys are manifesting a life of freedom happiness and innocence getting back to when you were a child in the community when everything was great no worries and cares and concerns so if things start happening that are disruptive it is to break the phase in the cycle okay if you guys chose deck number two the yellowstone don't forget to comment down below so i can get some words of encouragement back to you guys in the meantime i'm moving on to deck number three all right if you guys chose deck number three the purple stone this is what you guys are manifesting the overall energy is polarity so like i shared with the last few decks when you guys are manifesting and attracting it also works both ways so you can attract and manifest manifest the bad or the dark but also the good in this case you guys are manifesting polarity which tells me that you guys are manifesting some hard times based on the lessons that need to be learned but also good times. so it's almost like the life or what you're manifesting is being able to sustain this feeling of happiness for longer than a moment okay so that's a very interesting thing you guys seem to be a much more mature group um, compared to the others 
but I don't feel like you guys are tuning in much to how you're manifesting because again, you're manifesting some dark stuff and I'm going to get into that. Seven of Pentacles, this is patience, right? So a lot of you guys have sown your seeds and you're waiting to see what's manifesting. Why isn't it manifesting? Why am I not living the life that I desire to live? Why do I not have the job? A lot of you guys are, uh, I feel like there could be some frustrations in the sense of not being exactly where you want to be, seeing it, but again, also being burnt out. We have the nine of wands. So this is due to your guys' lack of patience. Remember, you plant the seed, you water it, and the way that you water it is just simply believing and knowing that it's going to grow. Um, imagine if you were just watering a seed and watching it grow every day how time consuming and tedious that would be it's kind of the same way with your guys's manifestation process plant the seed water it every day and your seed of manifestation could be it's simply an idea and an idea that you guys have even if it's um starting your own business or uh getting a better job or manifesting a family or that house that you guys want to buy you're you're watering that seed every day meaning whether it's on a uh, visual board seeing that house every day driving by that house every week going to that house that model home whatever it is it seems like you guys just have to water it and remembering that this is going to happen and not like waiting every moment for it for it to happen uh, which is why again with your manifestation i feel like you guys might be manifesting things that you don't want um waiting for what you do want like the frustration of what you do want two of pinnacles um, some of you guys uh, wanted to manifest certain things, but now are questioning it because it's not happening right away. Again, uh, there are things that you're still learning. Six of Swords, yeah. So there's some some limited perspectives that you guys are carrying with you from the past that have to uh, kind of fall away in order for you guys to manifest what it is that you're manifesting. You guys, again, this is a challenging deck. So if you guys chose the purple deck, it's a much more mature group so it's very it's a very troubling thing to not know when you're manifesting things that are also not going right so if you're noticing things from the past or you're on that same cycle it's because the mentality that you have from the past you're trying to use for your current state or your future and so what you're learning is to take great pride in your excellence but practice and patience so you're manifesting within your own self patience and and an understanding and we're going to get more into that consider getting additional education or training let's see who you guys are okay so it's your belief it's your belief system that is attracting a lot of um low things so it's like if you were in a place of wanting to manifest more and it didn't really work out it's kind of affecting how you're manifesting best thing in the future this seems like you guys need a lot of hope um to continue let's see if hope is here okay we have balance all right so you guys are definitely learning balance with the polarity good times and bad times not allowing your uh dark times to uh predicate your future to determine your future is yes doors get closed no's happen um, things that don't work out the way you wanted it to, to happen. But what spirit is saying is let it go because you're manifesting that same loop. So the longer you stay in the past about things that didn't work out is why you guys are manifesting the same type of polarity in your life. And again, polarity is integration, right? It's dark and light with, with both. We have balance and that's what you guys are learning. Also solutions is 14. So success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience forgiving and healing energy. So you guys are trying to manifest, right? Much more in your life and of harmony. Let's just see what else. Mostly love and abundance. And the issue is just that you guys have that same perspective and that same way of thinking from the past that you guys are trying to interpret in the present moment and future. So it, this is gonna be heavily focused on your spirituality. So you guys are manifesting a lot of karmic energy right now. In order to break that, again, it's gonna come from connecting with heaven, but also getting a closer relationship with, with source so that you can understand why these things are occurring. We have the Nine of Raphael, make a wish, dreams becoming a reality, a joyful time of life. So this is good. You guys are attracting a dream or a, a lifestyle that you guys admire to live. However, again, it's really, really predicated on how you see the world and releasing that. So you guys are manifesting a new way of thinking, a new way of dreaming and patience, self-control, 
forgiving. We have a man holding a coin and a woman holding a heart. So a lot of you are attracting a soulmate relationship with someone who wants to provide for you and help you. And all of the things that you're worrying about now, spirit is like, if you spent less time worrying on these things, cause you're manifesting based on worry, concerns and stress. If you guys were able to stop doing that and see the light in certain situations and having a little bit of hope um, outside of everything that you guys have been through again, cause I feel like you guys are tired. You, you're waiting for the manifestation process, everything that you want, you're, you feel like your prayers are not being answered, um, nothing is really changing as fast as it could be or as it should be. And again, it's your mentality that has to shift. And, and how you do that is having hope, but also what I'm feeling like is gratitude for where you are and how far you've come and not focusing on where you want to go so much because that is discouraging you in the sense of reminding you of where you are and where you are not. And it's really frustrating you and, and that's why you guys are creating some of these same moments over and over. So again, success that comes from objective compromise. In this case, you're compromising the way that you see things. Always assuming that, okay, this is too good to be true, something bad might happen. Just that thought and limitation is creating something bad to happen. So you guys are being really heavily challenged in your spiritual growth. So in this case, this is definitely a relationship and love and finances in love. This seems to be your guys' main focus, a leg up. So some of you guys are manifesting families and if not, you guys could already have a family that you are trying to provide more for. And you could be doing everything on your own also, because I'm seeing that a lot of you are independent in the sense of trying to make things happen. And this is for a reason. This is to build your strength. Balance, again, you're learning and you're manifesting balance in your life, allowing good things to happen, um, opening your mind and consciousness and allowing good things to happen, understanding that there can be no light without the dark. All right, understanding polarity, balance of spirituality and practicality. Um, there's a really big sense, and if you guys have been seeing 1111, again, these act as gates. These are doorways into a more spiritual realm. You are manifesting a deeper spiritual connection because you're realizing that you've exhausted all your options and what you think is right and how you can manifest that now it's time for more of a spiritual union. Um, this is also gonna attract your soulmate if you guys are waiting for your soulmate or if you're currently in a relationship with your soulmate, take it how it resonates. Either way, you're developing a spiritual union. Remember, a soulmate is attracted by the soul at soul level. Soul is spirituality. And so in order to attract the things that you really desire, spirit is trying to um, open you up in a sense of, uh, being more spiritual and seeing things from a spiritual aspect, except for, oh my gosh, it's falling apart again. This Is this going to happen again? Am I ever going to get out of this situation? Am I ever going to do this? And spirit, which is also, again, hope. These things that we want are not practical. We want hope and happiness and abundance and a uh, soulmate. These are all spiritual manifestations. So that's kind of where the, the disconnect is in you manifesting. And so in this sense, you're manifesting a deeper spiritual union of balance, of polarity, so that you can also, because I feel like you guys are also manifesting peace, but you're doing it to yourself. You're working yourself into the ground to the point where you're not, you don't have enough stamina. And it doesn't matter, even if you're not physically working on a career, mentally you're exhausted with waiting for things to happen. And again, this is to get you back into a place of spirituality and harmony with what? yourself and with the past a lot of you are attracting past energy or still living in past energy um, because you still have not let go of things that have happened in the past that did not work out that you felt like should have whether that's relationships career family situations certain houses maybe some of you guys guys got denied with certain situations in your life Basically, spirit is saying, make amends with your past because every moment is a creation of manifestation. And the more and more you live in the past, the more you create past outcomes. So things that are not working out due to your past. And then wisdom. So you're also attracting more wisdom, more of a spiritual union so that you can um, change this around. A lot of you have had a hard time, but it's 
things are getting ready to shift for you guys. You guys are manifesting more of a reality. And honestly, it's just simply because you guys got tired of doing it yourself. You know, we try to create these things and spirits like laughing, like, why don't you just move out of the way, tell me what you want and allow it to happen. See, we make things so difficult, but that's kind of where you guys are at right now. Um, things are getting ready to shift and that's just because you guys are running out of options. And this place of running out of options is actually letting go. You letting go is actually allowing spirit to work in your life to create more of a light outcome. So if you guys chose deck number three, the purple deck, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose the brown deck, this is your reading and what you are currently manifesting with the overall energy being friendship. So you guys are attracting better friends and your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people, spend more time socializing. So all of the changes that you're making spiritually, you are then attracting uh, different friends on a much more higher caliber of spirituality. So higher frequency people, that is basically what your soul tribe is. When you think of your soul family, this is the same tribe that has the same vision or uh, relatively the same purpose in life. And so now when you guys are attracting these people and these friendships, it's gonna come from a place of like, wow, you're reading that book? I just read that book, that's crazy. Type of coincidences such as that. The full card, you're manifesting more opportunities because you guys are taking risks. A lot of you are facing your fears. When we face our fears is when we feel most alive. So remember that if you're not facing your fears or going after or going towards them to transcend them, then uh, you are not living. You're just living in fear if you are. So the full card is about taking risks. So a lot of you guys are manifesting vacation, trips, um, six of cups, it looks like children. Uh, full and six of cups would definitely be children. Promotions, rewards, page of wands, a new project, a new, a new position in work, looks like as well. Um, and also with the six of cups, it's, it's memory, so past friendships. So it seems like some of you guys are going to have some past friends that reach out here soon and they are and always were a part of your soul family. It's just that you guys kind of broke off on your own direction because uh, you were taking a different uh, pathway to get to the same um, or a different route to get to the same journey. So you guys kind of split, went your separate ways to learn what you needed to evolve and you're coming back together again. So you guys are having past friendships past relationships or past people coming back to just basically see what's going on. And it'll be coincidental that you guys are kind of like on the same page, even though you haven't talked for months to years. So I definitely see that too. I definitely see children. So some of you are manifesting children. If that is something that you're desiring and have been thinking about heavily, that's um, coming very soon, or you're manifesting that already in the future. Seven of Wands, this is about a breakthrough. Also, but again, this seems like a work situation where you are manifesting a better position or a new position in work. All right, we have the Queen of Raphael, kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. Again, you're attracting uh, a family and you're manifesting a family and a home. So some of you may be focusing on building your foundation for your family or building a home for you and your family. And that's definitely happening. Remember guys, as you are thinking about this, you are manifesting it and every day watering it by seeing that house is what's gonna make it happen. Some of you guys could be a Gemini, you don't have to be, or an Aries. But with the lover's card, we have make choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. So I would definitely pay attention to Gemini um, season. So this year, Gemini season, it looks like you guys are attracting not just friendships, but much more meaningful relationships, conversations with people. In that sense, if you are looking for love, it looks like you're attracting a soulmate as well or a life partner, someone who wants to commit to you, start a family. Yeah. So if you guys chose this deck, when I was shuffling it, this was the deck that had the most like controversy in this, in the way that the cards were falling out. And a lot is going on with you guys. And it's, it's happening very quickly. It's happening very rapidly. And it's because something kicked into gear. Like you guys had some revelation in the past few months and something just kicked into gear. And you're like, I'm going to do this. What do I have to lose? I want to live. Um, and I want to live my dream. So why am I settling for less in life? And this 
this uh, outlook that you guys have, this curiosity and this fire is attracting better friendships, but also a relationship. This relationship that you're attracting, it is so solid in the sense of both of you guys want a home and a family and you're starting to um, you know, save for that and think about those things. And there's a lot of excitement, like for you guys, you've been through a lot. So psychic information, it's due to your trust. The more you're trusting spirit, which you guys are definitely learning how to trust more of spirit and allowing intuition to lead you, you're manifesting everything that you want um, because you guys are finally taking the risk to just follow your intuition. Seven of Ariel, you have invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So again, you've been patient. This came up in the reverse. You guys have been patient in wanting this to happen. And it's definitely seems like it's going to be your season this year. Goddess of the moon. So pay, pay very close attention to the moon and the cycles of it. Envy. Yeah, you guys are manifesting so much that your friendships are fading away because they're envious of you and the things that you've been able to do, but they're not seeing um, how far you've come. They're not seeing what you've sacrificed, the hard work you put into, the risk, the leap of faith that you've taken, um, you trusting an intuition more and allowing it into your life little by little every day is creating envy around you. So this is friends, family, um, even relationships. That's why things are gonna be shifting for you guys. You're manifesting um, your soul tribe, your partner, and everything that you want, even your promotion at at your job. So some of you guys are getting promotions and awards or just acknowledgement in general. This is creating envy and jealousy around you. Um, and that's, again, because what you guys decided to trust your information, your intuition. And so you'll notice that that's not uh, something that's uncommon is people see you being happy and they're just like, well, why are you happy? And they have no idea what you've done to manifest where you are. So be very uh, careful about that. Yeah, we even have the first chakra. Your relationships and friendships are changing drastically. For this to be the overall energy for you guys, your friendship, in fact, the, the more you're changing, the higher vibrations are coming in in your relationships and friendships. Meaning as you evolve and change your frequency, you're now attracting friends who are also very happy, who are also in that same place. So now you guys are just enjoying life and others are just looking around like, how did you do this? So your, your relationships and friendships are changing also to propel you. So again, birds of a feather flock together. We all know that. As you change your surroundings and friendships, for instance, you guys know to manifest, you have to put yourself in that state of being. So if you're manifesting financial freedom, you're now going to seminars and events that will help you attract financial freedom or doing the things you feel like you need to. And what's happening is just being in the presence of other people who are attracting the same thing as you literally propels you to the next level. It's very hard to manifest when your friendships or the people around you are not trying to do what you're doing. It's a very... Um, it, for instance, like if you were in a place of where everyone wanted to desire becoming a millionaire, you would just easily propel there because the energy is so dominant. But if you're in a state of poverty or let's say you're around a bunch of friends who are just low frequency, low drama, really not trying to attract anything soul wise or becoming a millionaire, that's, that's not a fertile place to plant your seeds of manifestation. And that's also what spirit is saying is like, I have to get you around the people um, that are also similar to you in your soul tribe so that you can also propel and manifest that much quickly rather than with the people around you. It's a very stale place to sow. You can't sow a seed in, in, a, in a place of poverty if you're trying to become more abundant. And so that's why your friendships and things have to change is because your outlook and their outlook are infringing on one another. Chaos and conflict, yeah. So chaos and conflict, envy, seven of wands, that's also chaos and conflict. So when you guys see that you're manifesting also chaos and conflict, it's because of your the, the outlook that people have of you. They don't really see you for who you are. And so don't be frightened by the chaos and conflict. It's just also preparing you and tearing down the things that are not for you, including your friendships. Um, inner strength. Yeah. So if you're wondering why things are happening or they're getting, if they come back to a place of 
chaos, it's because you're also moving back to wholeness, recognizing that you have power and inner strength. So these circumstances that you're finding yourself in is to also develop strength so that you can see the power that's within you. This is also recharging you to go after. And it's it sucks that it takes us like getting to rock bottom for us to make these changes. But unfortunately, you guys are having, you've had your rock bottom or you're gonna have this rock bottom where it just really exuberates you. And remember I was talking about that shift the very beginning discontent and boredom so you're going to spend some time alone but it's due to prosperity everything is happening for you and it's predicated on hope the hope that it's happening and taking um, the leap of faith with the chaos and conflict it could be very discouraging with the competition and the envy and again if any of you guys have this feeling that i'm mentioning as far as you feeling like other people are happy and you're not that needs to be released immediately also because everyone has the opportunity to manifest and release that and focus on your hope. This hope is what allows and shapes your manifestations. The sun and salvation, yeah. So you guys are coming to a very, very great part of your life of having it all. Like you're gonna learn that you can have happiness with the sun card and salvation, freedom and hope. This is what you're manifesting. Strength, also friendship and prosperity. And this is all what predicated on hope so you guys are coming to a place of happiness and freedom is what you're manifesting and again that's all due to the the fact that you guys have faith and trust even in the midst of conflict and chaos you are remaining hopeful and optimistic about this freedom and happiness so if you guys chose deck number four the brown deck this is your reading don't forget to comment down below so i can get some words of encouragement back to you guys I really want to see what you guys have to say for deck number four. I say that this is probably on the brink of manifesting everything that you guys want. All right, I'm moving on to the last deck, deck number five. All right, if you guys chose deck number five, the green deck, this is your reading and what you are currently manifesting with the overall energy being courage. So you guys are manifesting courage, facing your fears, understanding that you're setting your own boundaries in your mind you are creating boundaries based on fear. So you're learning how to be more limitless, manifesting and having the courage to do that. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Cups. A lot of you guys are gonna start dreaming or you're fantasizing about the things that you want. That's a better way to say that. You guys are fantasizing or dreaming about the things that you want and you're manifesting the courage to go after them. Yay, this is amazing. So nine of pinnacles, this is luxury and abundance. Uh, four of pinnacles, you guys are being open to receiving money. And also with the four of pinnacles in reverse, this is about allowing and releasing, not being afraid to spend or uh, invest in yourself to populate more abundance. So the dreams, you guys are having more courage to face your dreams and go after your dreams soul expansion yeah so you're going through a soul expansion your consciousness is expanding you will understand the connections between all things also with fear 10 of michael a situation has ended and you are finally free new opportunities for happiness will now follow put the past behind you so it seems like you guys have really been challenged at the bottom of the deck we have patterns you're being challenged to break the pattern you're manifesting courage to break patterns. Now, with manifestation, I want you guys to understand, as you're manifesting good, you can also manifest bad, right? By not letting go of things that are supposed to end a long time ago. Trying to make temporary things permanent things, right? When you think about a child that has a pacifier, right? They are not supposed to have it for too long because what happens, right? They made a temporary thing permanent and so now they have to deal with the after effects of trying to force something temporary or seasonal into permanent and so that's kind of what you guys are learning too is the reason why you keep attracting some of the same things and manifesting some of the same things is because you have these fears of ending so you're having courage to end the things that you know you're supposed to end there is not going to be a different outcome if you keep the same pattern right? You know, doing the same thing, expecting a different results. That's kind of what's coming up here. Allowing the ending to happen so that you can be free. So you guys are manifesting the courage uh, to be free, 
to let go of things, to put the past behind you, to break the pattern. How do you break the pattern? You do something differently, right? A habit forming, how we form habits, it's the same thing. You are having the courage to set better boundaries with yourself and breaking those patterns for the sake of you having more abundance and independence. That's something that I'm feeling like too. So some of you guys are holding on to things or people that you feel like will help you, um, but in all reality, until you release them, you'll never, you'll never discover the courage that you have and the power that you have if you don't do it on your own. So you're manifesting endings, but also happiness too, and faith. Faith that when you let go of this ending, something better will come in the future also. Pattern six of Ariel. Material needs getting fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Act of kindness, giving and receiving with a grateful heart. So you guys are manifesting more abundance. Again, independent abundance, abundance financial freedom, and um, just being able to have more income for yourself without having to just survive. So this is having a bounty pool. But again, it seems like you guys are blocked emotionally and not really trusting um, on a soul level. Let's see what this is about. Happy family is in reverse. So a lot of you guys are trying to keep things together. And that's why I said that if you continuously hold on to what you know you're supposed to let go of, you're only prolonging the future. You're only prolonging your process. And this comes from a lack of faith. And also this is coming from control and that control that you feel like you have to have to make things happen um you're having the courage to let let that go and allow something new into your life some of you guys have been doing some patterns for some time now and you really really want this life of just abundance as you see she has love she has wisdom she has strength she has courage she's growing everything in the cup has something differently um, a lot of you are also holding on to certain things in your life. So you're manifesting nothing new. You're manifesting nothing but the old. And you have a fantasy that something will change with this person or this situation. And spirit is saying, when you have the courage to release it, then will you begin to really, really live the life that you want to live in a happy family of harmony. So a lot of you are just not making decisions because you want to keep the family together or keep harmony with 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 whatever you know your family could also be your employees you know the company that you work for could be your friends could be the fact that you have children or you, that you don't so take it how it resonates with the family um it could be your family but spirit is could be moving you away from always having to keep it together for your family it's multiple things that are coming up for this group in the sense of relationships and holding on to things that are no longer serving you um, and therefore you guys are not really manifesting much new in your life and if you are it's just in spurts and again you your higher self wants you to be able to sustain a moment of happiness for longer than spurts so a lot of you are holding on to things because they're bringing you spurts of happiness here and there and spirit is just like you're settling hostilities so yeah a lot of you guys just don't want to deal with the confrontation the what has to come with the change because remember once we accept truth and accountability and we know that we're supposed to leave or we know we're supposed to end something and we don't we go against our intuition and it creates hostilities within ourselves, mental hostilities but then also it makes us accountable to actually have to change the things that we're doing if we no longer accept this relationship or whatever it is that you guys are accepting and you allow it to end that means that you have to also make changes and that comes with courage of independence angel of balance so yeah you guys are also learning balance by speaking up when need to be and also balance within yourself not giving too much not receiving too less and balance and having the courage to dream balance in allowing yourself to dream also new life so you guys are attracting a new life but you cannot do that if you are still holding on to your old life and it's crazy because you know i'm even learning myself that as you evolve and as you elevate and it's not to be superior it's like a lot of things in your life just don't fit anymore that childhood friendship just doesn't fit the part anymore and sometimes it's hard to detach ourselves which we all know the cause of all suffering is attachments is this attachment to your old life and anything in it the the old way of thinking um the things that you always do on the same patterns is preventing you from manifesting a new life 
ultimately that's what you guys are manifesting or trying to manifest and that takes courage courage to walk away from the things that are no longer serving you courage to walk away from the people that are no longer serving you heart chakra so it's definitely some relationship stuff here some confidence the confidence in the courage that's like the two big things that are going to help you manifest this new life confidence and courage confidence with the solar plexus chakra this is the willpower you know who you are um self-esteem uh this is also just hope that if i let go of this old life that will this new life be better you have a lot of doubts and fears around that but again courage and confidence this new life that you guys are waiting for or wanting is right across the the door of you making a decision to let go of the things that are no longer serving you um, this has to do with the relationship, it seems like, with the heart chakra. Could be a friendship, could be a family member. And in general, it's very close to your heart. Um, and, you know, with close to our heart, it's friends that we've been friends with for a long time. It's family members. It's relationships. It's twin flame stuff. It's soulmate stuff. It's a lot that's coming up here. And then the last two, we have fulfillment of wishes and power. So your courage and confidence, um, but you don't really know who you are just yet. And that's why you guys have the soul expansion is that you guys haven't really figured out who you are and the power that you do have if you decide to have the courage and the confidence to make the decision to walk away from situations that have already ended. See, in your heart, you know these situations have ended, but you staying there is uh, preventing you from fulfillment of new wishes. So you're manifesting a life that you really, really want to want to have in the life that you're desiring. But again, it takes confidence and courage to get there and also understanding who you are understanding who you are and the power that you have to change your circumstances at any moment it only takes a shift a very very brief shift and the fact that you can change your uh, situation at any moment if you knew about the power that you have had a lot of you also what i'm getting is there needs to be a little bit of healing so a situation at ending the way that you're ending these things remember you're not ending them because they're not working you're not ending them because they're ended. You're allowing them to end and closing the door from a place of, I deserve unconditional love, happiness, freedom, and I'm no longer postponing that for this situation, for this person, for this company, due to the fears that I have of being alone, failing, fear of failure, fear of what people have to say, fear of people walking away from you, fear of losing friendships. There's a lot of fears that are determining your guys' decisions, but I want you guys to focus on the fact that you are manifesting a fulfillment of wishes in a new life that's waiting for you on top of independence of finances and abundance. And so what's necessary is having the courage to break the patterns that are still replaying. And the patterns are founded on the fears that you have, your deepest fears. So if you guys chose deck number five, the green deck, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below so I can leave some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm checking out. Thank you so much for tuning into this Pick a Card reading. Love and light to you all. I will see you in the next Pick a Card reading.